a very special day for us at VA because we're here with the Prostate Cancer Foundation where we're announcing some really important decisions that are going to help us treat veterans better. One of the reasons we're here is because of what technology is capable of doing today. Our five-year goal working with the Prostate Cancer Foundation is to have up to 200 active projects going in the area of big data and precision health. People ask me, is big data important to solving cancer? And I ask, well, is the internet important? What do you get with big data that we wouldn't have gotten before? Cures. The really nice thing about the VA system is that because of the big data sets that are available and they're easily accessible, they've had an electronic health record for more than two decades. So that in itself is just a gold mine. With the development of modern DNA sequencing, what we call next generation sequencing, we're able to interrogate tumors on an individual basis and learn what are the genetic changes, the mutations that are driving an individual's cancer. And through that kind of uh, analysis, we can identify the right drugs for the right patients based upon the specific mutation a patient may have. Christopher Seeley is a man with metastatic resistant prostate cancer, the kind that kills men. I was in the, uh, in the Navy um, during the uh, Vietnam conflict. After completing my four-year hitch in the Navy, I was honorably discharged as a third-class petty officer. As part of the PCF-VA collaboration, we did deep sequencing of his cancer and we found that he had a mutation in something called BRCA2. Because we knew he had this, we used a study using DNA damaging chemotherapy to treat him. I've been on this chemotherapy regimen now for four months. And two out of every three weeks, I'm here for either treatment or follow-up. My expectations coming into this were that, realistically, this is my best last chance. You know, I was either going to be dead within a year or this was going to present a better alternative. So far, the results have been pretty stellar, uh, particularly to be um, referred to as an exceptional responder. His PSA has gone from over 200 to 1. The scans which he had initially which showed metastatic disease are now essentially normal. So he's had a complete radiographic response. If I could jump for joy without you know, going off camera, I would do it. My love for nature, uh, photography, is, you know, that's sort of my driving motivation. The decision about selling equipment, no, that's off the table now. Um, now I'm looking forward to the winter migratory birding season, and that's gonna start up in less than a month. So I'm ready to go and I'm ready to keep going. It's hard to actually put into words, to be honest with you. I mean, we all, every day, hope for a miracle. And this is as close to a miracle as we get right now.